It's now time to walk the walk. I'm Todd Grisha. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. Larry Holmes. Watch out for that reach of 206 centimeters. He's also 191 centimeters tall and weighed in at 103 kilos. And up against him, it's Larry Holmes. Six foot three inches tall, weighed in at two. And here comes the... Here comes the Eastern Assassin, Larry. And with that, let's... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Eastern Pennsylvania, here is one of boxing's all-time greats, the heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Eastern Assassin, introducing Larry Holmes. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. This is one of those fights. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Beautiful counter shot. Neither man really defending themselves. Nice job landing that left counter punch. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting. What an event it will be here tonight. This is that place you want to say, I fought, I did. And now we are here. This is not the way he and they're down would be wise here to take the full eight seconds one two three four five so they'll make it up and this fight continues to show somebody has a small blood look at that look at that really exterior Look at what they're gonna do. Walk him down, set him up. Don't make them blind him with a jab, then boom, let the shot in. back up on their feet but I'm not sure why it looks like he's gonna survive the round here but just barely is there any way back into here we go for round two last round was a disaster what can they do here to turn this around I have no idea what very what how how'd you come back from something like that? Man, twice how, where's your head at where's your energy levels at he tells you you've got nothing left another scoring shot there both of these men showing exceptional chins by the way Hey, those punches add up. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You got to swarm on your case. You know you got to fight. You got to hold him. You got to tie him up. You got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break up. But keep your hands high because I will keep punching until that referee said stop. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. Counter left hand there. Turn back to life now, starting to land some punches. That punch landed. Counter. 
corner left. Insane action. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Big Larry Holmes got rocked. Holmes, I heard that never by a it. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. There's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. If just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh man, you got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Put him low on the it looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That must hurt.
We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Larry Holmes. Watch out for that reach of 206 centimeters. He's also 191 centimeters tall and weighed in at... East. Muhammad. And now we toss it. Bound is scheduled for... So they stare into each other's eyes one final time. And we're underway in round one. Oh, and he caught him there with a the right hook. Ooh, that punch hurt him. exchange here from both men nice job landing that left counter punch you're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy he wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away you got to swarm on your case you know you've got to fight you got to hold him you got to tie him up you got to lean on him when he come in until the referee makes you break up but keep your hands high because I will keep punching till that referee said stop. Beautiful counter punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That's a scoring left hand. Good counter punching for both these athletes. <laughs> Missed him with that uppercut. Both men step back for just a moment. Beautiful counter shot. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. I promise you all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. He's absolutely knocking man. Here we go. It's round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Insane action. Oh my, the big fella just got rocked. Disaster. And he is forcing him to take an E. Best thing the fighter did. Otherwise, you know what? Pride's going to get you knocked out. with that left hook. His jab just got blocked. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Larry Holmes now stumbling backwards. I thought he takes a knee, buys time, collects himself. Five, six, seven, eight. He blocks the right hook. That left counter was perfectly timed. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one.
game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Wow, it's like... Bell rings and we start the third. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. Because that's all big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connected, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire, because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Nice exchange here from both men. Exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Finally, Muhammad Ali goes down. They'll make it up, and this fight continues. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. You've been put down. You've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next one. On to the fourth we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go. Because you know, they want shaking legs. They're a, a nuts here, away from getting stopped. He got out of the way that right hook. They're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. There's a lot of work to do, and you know what? It's hard to pull back. Don't get into the habit of losing. Don't get into the habit of being second place. You've got to change the habit. You've got to change something, because otherwise, why should it change? Catch and shoot. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Nice job landing with that. Beaten, bruised, and battered, but somehow he's still in it. There's always a way back. Don't ever run anybody up. And there's the bell for round five. You've got to be feeling confident now after what happened last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Both men step back for just a moment.
what a punch. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. But now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to G you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. He just misses with that jab. left sword. Perfect punch. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Nice counter shot. Gotta wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be. We just saw. Can make or break a fighter. Here we go in the sixth round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a David. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff him. We both know who the bigger looks. that right ladies and gentlemen a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year a knockout victory that's not a knockout victory that is somebody saying i'm here i've arrived try that again it will happen all over again Only one, number one, there ain't room for two. There ain't no room. I am the one. Top two, but not number two. There ain't no room. Boom. Came in clean, but without a broom. There ain't no room. Still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. Straight in, more peso, more gaining. Never came in, guns blazing. At Raven, you get weighed in. Been training, sick of waiting. Some failing, not plain sailing. Entertaining, check the ratings. Let me out, I don't wanna be caged in. Yeah, I'm ready, who's next up? Pay attention now, yeah, you're best luck. I like to warm up like a few jabs, and then I hit hard like a left hook. My style's unique, not test box. Step to me, you get yourself messed up. Win or lose, still here, still not been moved. I got points to prove. There ain't no room. It is fully packed here tonight. I'm Todd Grisham, and we're going old school tonight here inside the Grand Theater. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. He is smoking Joe Frazier. His and now it's time for the... The bout is scheduled. 
We welcome you to this beautiful... These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. And he just misses with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarm, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. These men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Caught him with a heavy punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. That left counter was perfectly timed. He misses with that jab. Neither man really defeat. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Wow. You know, I've been in front. On to the second round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get rough with him. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Good counter right hand again. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is the thick young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That one lands. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest. And there's the bell to start round three. After that last round, something has got to change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab, be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then pull the pressure on. <laughs> Nice exchange here from both men.
how much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we've got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. Good counter punching. He parries away that left hook. Left counter punch will score. Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? Insane action! You know this one. Larry Holmes is going down and he's got to get up! One, two, three, four! It's not over till it's over, but that knocked him. Here we go to the fourth round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle in there. He's got a, he's got a block him. Counter left hand there. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Watch that right hook. He fails to score with that left hook. Nice counter shot. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Hard, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Good left counter that lands. He blocks the hook. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nice exchange here from both men. He just misses with that big right. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Punch, counter punch. Bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And there's the bell for round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until the senses have come back. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. He blocks the right hook. Counter left. 
No rest for the weary. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. <laughs> Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. He missed with that jab. This round is still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. He is down big time on the score. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out. On to the sixth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. <laughs> Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Another scoring shot there. Fighter protect themselves a little better. And he just missed with that left jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This here comes round seven. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? It's the one who draws first blood talk. That's what you've got to look at. If you've been hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. A big left, but doesn't score with it. They're both trying for a knockout. Threw the hooks, didn't land. A perfect counter shot. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Todd, you know what? Big Larry Holmes got rocked. It appears that and he's going to take a knee.
both men step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. It's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. And we enter the eighth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That hook is parried away. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through them? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Good counter punching for both these athletes. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fire. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Lands with the right counter. Still swinging with nothing left. Round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need it. And we enter the night. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Punch. Nice exchange here from both men. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes, it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Nice counter shot with the right hand. And that left hook doesn't find its target. They figure out the combination to this safe. Throwing a hook, but nice defense there. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Beautiful counter shot. It's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? We've made it to round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Not 
a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Got out of the way of that right hook. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. That counter shot lands. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship round. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. When are we going to see a jab from these two? And he misses with the left uppercut. If you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes when you get nervous, someone that's so powerful, you gotta think them. You just gotta be smarter than them. You gotta be like a little favorite to pickpocket them. Swing and a miss with the hook. These two are the perfect dance partners. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This is easy for us to say and comment here at ringside, but those guys can see what they've got to do. I understand there's a lot of pressure. I understand there's some guys that are just naive or inexperienced, but just give them a break. Give them a little time. You can't connect with that right hook. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Nice defense there to stop the right hook. Neither man really defending themselves. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights. Like On to the 12th. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And don't forget, you can bang too. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Like to see more jabs. Uh, 
We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Caution being thrown to the wind. They exchange punches. Missing with the left hook. Nice counter punch. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. What a dominant performance, and it shows up on the judges' scorecards as a unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart, that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. Add every round in the bag. There was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. Yeah. Like a duck. All the belts might see.
We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time for Art. Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Watch the footwork. Watch the hand speed. No one does it like Ali. The Bronze Bomber fighting out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the former heavyweight champion of the world. If this fighter knows how to use that reach, this well, we're all. Now the schedule for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing. The only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Hiding out of the blue corner, an Olympic bronze medalist from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a hard-hitting sensational knockout artist, and a WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. So, all the talking's done, all, all, the, all the hullabaloo, all the press cuttings, all the he said, she said. Now, let's get down to action. And there's the bell for round one. Do you believe this? He threw the hook, didn't land. Nice exchange here from both men. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. Missed him with that uppercut. This is a high octane battle. Keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. He just misses with that big right hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance without a doubt. What do we expect to see here in round two? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Got out of the way, that right hook. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Lands with the right counter. They exchange punches. Both men step back for just a moment. Neither man really defending himself. Counter right. Oh, 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Because that's all big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Nice counter shot with the right hand. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. thought Ali would get rattled like this. Oh, I heard that never. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. There's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. That counter shot lands. Tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good counter right hand again. And he just misses with that jab. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when he catch you. These two are the perfect dance partners. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Nice exchange here from both men. That left counter was perfectly timed. Winner of this surely will get a world title shot. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Counter punching. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And a call it so important now. On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, thinking you just gotta be smart than them. You've got to be like a little fagin' a pickpocket. Man. He fails to score with that left hook. Left hand there. Both men step back for just a moment. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Perfect counter lands. The greatest has been dazed. Oh, no. Ali is down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter... Anyway, back into this fight after the beating he has taken. There's the bell to start round five. They barely survived the last round after two knockdowns. Let's see what happens here. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with that power punch. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He misses with that jab. Neither fighter willing to slow down. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this game. The counter left. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last one. That starts the six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable. Drag them. Get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Neither man really defending themselves. That left counterpunch will score. Men step back. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? Does, and he is forcing him to take a knee. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. showing exceptional chins, by the way. Big right hand just misses. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. moment forward he cannot here comes round seven safe to say that last round was a nightmare Let's see if we can turn it around here 
was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Oh, Wilder just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. He's got a wounded. So he's going to take a knee here and get the mandatory eight count. What you see right there is a heartbroken fighter. Eight. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shot. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. These shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. This round's still up, and he's going to take a knee. Best thing the fighter did. Otherwise, you know what? Pride's going to get you knocked out. As bad as boxing gone. judging can be sometimes, gone. there's no Jump doubt who won that round. As long as they don't Jump get complacent, you think Mitchell, this is too easy. Nets, if they keep this... And we enter the eighth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. So one who draws first blood card. That's what you've got to look at. If you get hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it. You've got to be confident. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. Exchange here from both men. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. And they figure out the combination to this save. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Counter-punching for both these fighters. Nice counter shot. Nope, that hook won't score. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. Oh, I heard that never... After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I See how much fatigue we see here in round nine. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? That 
power. That power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice counter. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They get out of the way of that left hand. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. We enter the final 10 seconds here. It's probably a round he'd rather forget. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. I love the response, though. Got back up. This is the 10. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they're on shaky leg. They're a, a nuts here, away from getting stopped. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds, because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Time to go set. 